okay estimation of parameters one of the main task of statistical inference is the estimation of population parameters uh, from the available sample statistics which are also called estimator okay so already you know what is population and what is sample okay so suppose mu sigma are the parameter sample mean standard deviation these are the statistic so with the help of means sample mean we can estimate the population mean with the help of standard deviation sample standard deviation we can estimate the population standard deviation okay now there are three types of statistical estimations judgment estimation point estimation and interval estimation okay so this particular mean this is called point estimation okay and in this particular video we will talk about the interval estimation in detail an estimate of a population parameter specified by two values uh, lower and upper between which the parameter may lie is called interval estimation of the parameter interval estimation is better than the point estimation because it indicates the range or precision of the estimate interval estimation has an interval called confidence interval which consists of an upper confidence limit and lower confidence limit and we assign a probability that this interval contains the true population now the probable range of values for the unknown population parameter is called confidence interval so what is confidence interval the probable range of values for the unknown population parameter is called the confidence interval if we report a point estimate we probably won't hit the exact population parameter on the other hand if we report a range of probable values we have a good shot at capturing the parameter the width of the confidence interval is influenced by sample size and the variance in the population population if any sample statistics follows a certain distribution then that is the guarantee that the computer statistic will be representing the population parameter therefore uh sorry if any sample statistics follow a certain distribution then what is the guarantee that the computer statistic will be representing the population parameter therefore we want to have a certain range of confidence in our estimate and the statistic should lie within the range and that confidence range next when to use which type of parameter estimation the following table shows the when to use which statistics when <coughs> population distribution is known population distribution okay population standard deviation sample size in and the statistic clear so if it is normal if the population distribution is normal and if the standard deviation population standard deviation is known and sample size is more than 30 okay more than 30 yes then we have to use this z statistic okay similarly if it is normal and if it is known and it is less than 30 then also you can use z statistic if it is normal if it is unknown and if it is more than 30 then we can use z statistic and if it is not normal okay now see if it is not normal population distribution is not normal but population standard deviation is known okay and if the size is more than 30 then also you can use z statistic okay now if it is not normal and if it is unknown and if the size is sample size is very large more than 30 then also you can use z statistic but if the sample size is a uh, population distribution is normal okay and population standard deviation is unknown and sample size is small say less than 30 
then we have to use t statistic okay but if it is not normal so let's continue our discussion so uh, for estimation of a population there are two uh, important things we need to know which is the point estimator and the uh, in interval estimator okay to so start with the point estimator so the best point estimator of the population mean, mu, is the sample mean. Okay, so the is the sample mean. Okay, so the best point estimator of the population mean is the sample mean. Okay? So sample mean is equal to the summation of x sub i over n. Okay, where i is uh, from numbers 1 to infinity. Okay? So that is the best point estimator of a population mean u, mu, is the sample mean. When we say standard error, standard error of, a, uh, of the point estimate, you are referring to the uh, standard deviation of sample okay standard deviation of the sample so that would be the standard error is equal to the standard deviation over the square root of n so another name for the standard error of the point estimate is the standard deviation of the sample remember that the best point estimator of a population mu is sample mean okay sample mean okay so the best point estimator of a population mu okay is the sample mean and then the standard error of the point estimate another name for that or another term is the standard deviation of the sample Okay, we can solve that, which is equal to the standard deviation of the population over the square root of n. And here, you're referring to the sample size. Example on point estimator. Suppose that a random sample of 10 students have the following grades in statistic probability. So these, these are the grades. So we have 90, 93, 85, 77, 88. 80, 78, 83, 95, 90. So there are 10 students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. First, we need to solve for the best point estimators. Okay, or estimator, or estimate, or estimate. Okay. Remember that the best point estimate or the best point estimator, that is your sample. Okay, so sample mean is the best point estimate. So to solve for the mean, you just simply get the summation of the scores and then divide it by the total number, which is 10. Okay, since 10, you're referring to a random sample. So that will be your small n. Okay, so we have 90 plus 93 plus 85 plus 77 plus 88 plus 80 plus 78 plus 80 plus 79 plus 80 plus 85 plus 90 divided by the uh, sample which is 10 so your mean is equal to 85.9 or 85.90 okay that's it next number two Number two is the uh, standard, solve for the standard error of point estimate, okay? So solve for the standard error or point estimate. You are referring to another, another term for that is the standard deviation of the point estimate. So what is your point estimate? The uh, sample mean, okay? So what will be the standard error or the standard deviation of your sample mean? So that would be the standard error of your sample mean is equal to the standard deviation over the square root of n. 
Okay, so the standard error of your point, point estimate, your point estimate, you are referring to the mean. So therefore, the standard deviation or standard error of your point estimate, which is the sample mean, is equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by, by the square root of n. Okay, by the square root of n. Okay. So, in the given problem, the variance, your variance is 100. So, therefore, your standard dev is the square root of the uh, variance. So, that is your standard dev. Okay? So, therefore, your standard dev is 10. Okay? So, that will be the standard deviation of your variance, which is 10. So, that will be 10 divided by the square root of n, which is 10. So, your standard error of a point estimate or standard deviation of the point estimate. Let me say point estimate here, you're referring to the sample mean, which is equal to 3.16. Okay, 3.16. If, if the... Um, if the standard dev, if the variance, by the way, if the variance is not given, okay, if the variance not given, how do we, how do we determine the uh, standard dev? Okay, just simply follow the uh, formula. So, the uh, standard deviation of the population is the same as the uh, standard deviation of the sample. So, to solve for the standard deviation of the sample, that will be the square root of the summation of x minus the mean squared over n minus 1. So, you need to follow this formula to solve for the standard deviation if the variance is not given. Okay?